Hi there. This is in response to a request by a subscriber, specifically, how do you set up a strategy that allows you to select any number of runners from the field and then lay them pre-race, but only lay the favorite if the favorite is one of your selections? It's a relatively straightforward task to do this. Now let me just open up the strategy editor. Uh, I've already set up a dummy strategy. The first thing we need to do is to identify or select the runners that we want to be considering with this particular strategy. So we need to set up enough rules to allow us to configure that. First thing we do is set up the first rule and I'm simply going to call that select first runner. We want to set this to, let's just say, one minute before the off. Now what we're going to do is these rules, these small rules I'm going to create up, they are going to set up small controlling bets within the market which will then be used by Fairbot to identify the actual runner we want to get involved in. So the action required here is to place a bet. We need to set that to uh, at runtime. The reason for that will become apparent in a moment once I show you. We're going to do a lay bet at fixed odds of 1.01 for a fixed amount of 0 0.01. In other, uh, other words, a penny. Now you need to set that to lay stake as a liability. If you didn't switch that on, that one penny bet would fail because it's below the bet fair minimum. The alternative is to leave that off and just set that to one, i.e. a pound. Um, it's the same thing, the same liability of a penny will incur. You don't need fill or kill and you don't need keep because these bets you want to disappear before the race goes in play. There's no conditions required, so if we can just close that. So that's our definition there. And we simply need to copy and paste that a couple of times, or more specifically, any number of times for all the runners that you're likely to select. So if you deal in big fields all the time and you find you're selecting four, five, six runners, I would suggest you put in seven of these to give you a little bit of flexibility. Keeping in mind that if you don't have enough of these for any one particular race, you won't be able to specify all your runners. Whereas if you have too many of these and you're only specifying a couple, there's no big deal. You just don't bother flagging them up to Fairbot for each individual race. I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So let's just edit this so that the title says select second runner. And we can save that and then do the same with the third one. You will be surprised to learn that it should say select third runner. And so obviously if you had more than that, you would just carry on this to cover them all. Okay, so if I now save that and just get the strategy editor out of the way, if I was to assign it to this race here, you'll then get these options showing whenever you've assigned this to a race. And you can click on here and choose your runners from the list. Now, if you sign this to another race, obviously this list here will be different. So you just select your preferred select uh, picks from here. You don't necessarily need to do it in alphabetical order or race order or whatever. You can mix and match. And if you find in this situation where you only want two selections and we have three options, just leave the third option blank and Fairbot will ignore it. So as I was saying earlier on, if you find yourself selecting four or five runners frequently, set this up so that you have perhaps six selections. And then in the situation where you don't actually need to specify all six, just leave those ones blank or set to unknown and Fairbot will ignore them. Okay, let me just reset that and we'll switch back to the editor again. So these three are going to put in small bets for a penny liability at odds of 1.01, small lays. What we need to do is add in the main rule now. So this is going to lay selection if 
Freeway's favorite. So the requirement was it will only lay the one horse out of our selected runners. And it will only do that if it is the favorite. So this rule needs to set all that up. Now in advance, we don't know what the selections are. Um, so we need to uh, adjust that accordingly. So we're going to set this up relative to end time. Uh, subscriber was saying the previous favorite 10 seconds before the off. So we need to pop that in at 10 seconds. And also we don't want it to carry on looking for a previous favorite just in case let's say there's a delay in the start of the race and the favorite uh, changes position. We would want to uh, stop that sticking in another bet. So we'll limit it to a two second window where it checks the market and lays the favorite if it's one of our selections. Now we need to do this with the apply to all option switched on because in advance we don't know what the selections are and we need the rule that we're creating here to make that decision for us. So again we're just going to be placing a bet which is going to be a lay bet but it needs to be assigned to all. Now, just to remind you, if you're not familiar with the all option, this causes Fairbot to set up, although it will be an individual rule within the strategy editor, when it's assigned to a race, Fairbot automatically sets up that rule or duplicates that rule across every runner in the field. So this is going to be a lay. It's going to be um, best lay odds. Pop in whatever your liability is or stake you want to use. You could, if you like, do a filler kill. You certainly perhaps want to keep this just in case it doesn't get taken pre-race. And now we need to specify the conditions. So there's a, a couple of conditions that you, you need. First of all, you need to check that there is a small bet existing in the market. So that's one of these bets here. So we need to do a selection bet count. This needs to be set to all. Selection number bet needs to be equal to one. It should be a lay and it should be unmatched and it should be sitting at odds of 1.01. .01. The next thing we need to do is to check to see if one of our selections is in actual fact the race favorite 10 seconds before the off. Now keep in mind we're controlling the time element by the these two things here so we don't need to do anything with regard to time otherwise. What we need to do however is check the relative odds. So if we click on there the first rule we want to do is to check our each individual selections. And we need to do that by selecting the all option here. And we want to compare that with the second favorite. By definition, if the odds of whatever one we're checking is less than the second favorite, by definition, it must be the favorite. So we're going to choose um, position back odds. Position two to give us a second favorite. And we want selection A's. So that's going to be whatever runner we're checking. We want it to be less than selection B. And that's it. Click on OK there. We can save that. Come out of that. We're a little bit too late for this race at Wynn Canton. So I'll skip ahead to the one at Curra. Oh, okay, okay, we're quickly approaching the Kira. Well, let me just quickly assign this strategy and let's just pick the favorite and the third favorite and just for fun, Neo Smart. So that's them assigned. Those are the bets I've gone in. So what should happen is, looks like Jenny is the favorite. So there she's getting laid. That's it. So generally speaking, if you're choosing the favorite as is, they will likely go. It's only when you've got two horses that are fairly close together. Uh, and of course, it depends on how far in advance you actually assign this strategy. But that's essentially it.
fairly straightforward. Let me just pull up the strategy again to let you see it. So that's how it's configured. The important thing is that this is done, as you can see, it's a different color there, uh, light blue. So that's configured with the apply to all option. And when the strategy is assigned, it creates or duplicates that one rule across every runner in the field. And you then use the conditions to essentially limit which ones get actioned upon. So you see there, this rule here, that's been executed as you can see by the market state. All the other ones have been ignored. And that's essentially it. Uh, as I said, if you find yourself wanting to choose more runners in the strategy, add in more select runner options. Okay, and that's it. That was a nice lay. I should do this more often. Okay, guys, hope that was useful for you. Speak to you later. Bye.